All right, no one builds a production app in 10 minutes. In fact, Node.js isn't good at everything out there anyway. But what we want to do is we want to focus on what Node.js is good at. So we are going to build a web application. First things first, we need to get ourselves some tools to work with. So we'll use the Node Package Manager to do that. The NPM repository is a collection of third-party software that is available for everyone to use. We're going to make ourselves an application folder called App Sprint. And what we want to work with is, while there's many frameworks out there, I'm going to pick one, something to get started with. And I'm going to npm install express at a particular version, just because I know this version works. There are better ways of managing our application, which we'll see later. But this will get us up and going because we will be able to create ourselves a web framework without having to actually build everything from scratch. I would like you to notice that we have a node modules folder. One thing I think NPM got really, really right was that as opposed to having a centralized location where all of our packages get installed to, by default, packages are installed into the local directory, which means that we have all the rights to use them, and they don't collide with other people's packages. Let's make use of Express to create our project scaffolding. Not that I can spell. There we go. Yes, I want to continue in my non-empty directory. Now, this is where we can see how Node, JS, and NPM work excellently. I have a package.json folder, which we'll take a look at later. This allows me to manage the dependencies of my program wherever I'm at. I can do a simple NPM install. Everything I need gets downloaded. I can get a cup of coffee. I can hang out. I can pretend my code is compiling. There we go. We're done. And now we have enough to do a basic Hello World program and make sure everything is working. Most programs in Node actually are begun by running the Node interpreter on a particular file. We do that with our application. We run Node on app.js. Express by default runs on port 3000. And let's just test this out here. Hello World Express, welcome to Express. We have achieved.